Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, good night, everybody. Welcome back to one more class. Welcome to welcome to today class. Okay. Now we're going to start with the development of the topic. Uh, did you remember what we were talking about yesterday, right? This doll, that, and all that kind of thing, right? Yes. And even we imagine like if we were in a flea, in a flea marker. I don't know how many of you have heard about what a flea market is. I don't know if somebody has an idea about what a flea market is. A flea market. Here in El Salvador, they are very famous. Lo conocemos como el qué? Como el mercado de? Mercado de pulga. El mercado de pulga, gracias Nelson. That, that is the famous flea market where uh, the, uh, the people, uh, well, in the majority of the cases, the people only sell articles, clothes, uh, some items that they have at home and that they don't use anymore, right? Uh, for example, you may be, uh, you may have a table uh, in your house and you don't want it anymore. And you go to the flea market and you tack your table and people who pass around, they look and observe the table and then ask you, hey, how much? And this, how much it costs? And it costs, and let's say the $25. Ah, okay, it's good, okay, I, I will buy it. And that's all the kind of thing that people do in, in a free market. Okay, let's see the following role play, the following conversation. Uh, here it said, put items for sale on your desk, on a table, notebook, watch your back. This may emphasis on so, uh, this kind of activity we could do it in the case we were in the, in the classroom because here in the through the camera, I think it's uh, like a little bit difficult being observing the, what everybody has on, over the table, right? Uh, here we have the student A. You are you are a clear answer the customer question. A student B, you are a customer. Ask about the price of each item. Say it. Say if you want to buy it. What does it mean? If you want to buy it, you say it. For example, can I help you? Yes, I like these sunglasses. Remember this one, right, guys? The the one that we were talking about yesterday. This. This, this, and those, right? This one, in this case, this. Here we are making emphasis or we are referring to something in singular or plural, right here. This plural. song, plural. Plural. Plural, 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 right? Plural, plural right, plural. right? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, you remember that the last, the yesterday class, right? How much are they? Why we use the four of B in plural R? Because as we already mentioned, we were making emphasis in the plural. Yeah? We are not gonna use a singular four, right? We're gonna use a plural four. And said which one? Which one? It means in Spanish cuáles. Cuáles. That means that's being in Spanish, right? And let's move to the following slide. And here we have. Uh, did you remember what we were talking about? The stress, right? The stress. The stress is the uh, the for the force that you put at uh, at the moment of. Uh, when you pronounce a certain word, right? Like we had the example right here. Uh, the majority, all of, all of the word uh, has a stress. 
This stress is not the physical stress that you feel in your body. It's the, <laughs> it's the level how you pronounce the word, right? If we remember that. Excuse me. If you say, if you see right here, we have the you. stress. Excuse, excuse yes. me. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. They're perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I like the blue one. Uh, Rutilio, do you remember what we were talking about yesterday about this 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 pronoun, right? The one, right? The one that you were asking me yesterday. Blue one, those one. In this case, it's singular, right? Blue one, because we were talking about one singular and specific article, right? That's what we were talking about. And let's see, here we have like a longer sentence, right? They're not very attractive. Attractive. If you see, the stress is right here. Attractive. In English, uh, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of words. But sometimes, uh, don't feel bad because you sometimes can get confused where the stress is or maybe you you identify in the in the in the bad place no don't worry for that because some of the words are very tricky you may you may think that it's in in this part of the world but it's in another one uh, phonetic is a very difficult area in some of the cases uh, because it deals with a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things. Uh, phonetic is a very wide area, uh, which also is in, in, in English and that involves a lot of things, but don't worry about that. Uh, phonetic is learned with with the spirit, right? And the more you practice, the more spirit you you got. And through the way you practice more, you can get more more experience in, in phonetic, and more knowledge about it also. Okay. Here we have uh, about something that we can buy, sell, and in the item. Here we have different items, right? What are these things made of? Identify each one, use word from the list, from the list. Here we have the word coron. What's the word corons mean in Spanish? Coron. Algodón. Algodón. Algodón, thank you, thank you. What about rubber? Caucho. Caucho o caucho. 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 Ajá, la goma, goma. O el, la goma, ¿verdad? Que, pero no, no goma de, de no, no es la clase de goma, no es goma de. <ríe> Vaya, eh, let's continue with the another one. Gold. Oro, oro. Oro, oro, oro. Go, go. What about sink, silk? Seda. 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 Uh, I don't know if you know where silk comes from. How do you get the silk? How, how, where, where the seals come from? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The have somebody heard about uh, about where the where the seal come from? It come from uh, from 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 from. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who has the. Who has the microphone on and is making some noise? 
come from a little uh, comes that come from worms and they they are thrown in a big bowl and they they are uh, boiled in uh, in that way the the comes and I don't know they maybe get uh, like a little fluffy or a sponge and you touch it with it and you get a little nail and those little nails you keep getting 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 more 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 from the cooms and that that is how how they can get the the seal it's a very complicated process uh, getting the seal that's why the all the 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 the, the clothes that, that are made from seal are very expensive and, and it's more expensive than than cotton right because cotton is easier to to get from the from the plant right and we have leather what it means le leather cuero 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 we we only can get leather leather from the cows yeah not only from the cows, the some people get letters from no. deer, from deer, from sheep, and but the but the but the animal that is most used is 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 the cow, right? Because I think the the letter of the cow is stronger than than other ones. I think that's right. Uh, Let's move to silver. Silver. Silver plata. Plata. But but not plata related with money, right? <laughs> it's plata. Then. It's plata, okay? Silver. What about plastic? Plastico. It's plastic. What about wool? I don't know if somebody has heard this. Lana. Lana. Lana, 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 lana. Lana is is mm, is wool. Okay, guys, let's move to the exercise right here. Okay, sorry for moving the, the screen, but uh, let's move to the number one. Here we have a bracelet. What we're we gonna do right here, guys? In the empty spaces, we are going to put uh, which material is used in order to elaborate or create the different items that we have right here. Here we have the first example. The number one set, a plastic bracelet, because the bracelet is made of plastic. What about the number two? A gold ring. A gold, a, a gold? Ring. Ring. A gold ring. A gold ring. Ring. A gold ring. Ring. Okay. Thank you, guys. What about the number three? A silk A tie. Tip. A silk yeah. tie. Yeah, because the majority of the tie are made are made of silk. It's very weird to find a tie that is made of cotton. I don't know who of the guys that are uh, that are present today has used tie. I don't know how many of you guys has used tie. Nobody. What? Eh, what do you think has used corbata tie? How many of you oh. has has used tie? Me uh, in, you, in the you, church. In the church. <laughs> Not at work, <laughs> but in the church you use it. Okay. In the church yeah. and and in in the university. In the church, in the university, it, because it's uh, it's a it's part of uh, of your outfit that makes you look a little bit more formal, right? And wearing wearing tight, right? And but if you touch the the tie, you can feel when they are made of silk, 
And if you have noticed, uh, I don't know if you have found a tie made of, of coral. It, they are very weird, tie made of coral. The majority of them are made of silk. Uh, it's very weird to find one of them. Yeah, let's go to and move to the number four. What about the number four? A wool sock. So, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, or we can say wool. A wool sock. Wool. wool. Uh, or just we can say wool socks because we, here, here we, we don't wool have socks. an article. Uh -huh. Here we don't have an article. And sometimes the article is not necessary, but we can use the, the article. Oh. Ah, yeah. A wool. Oh. Okay. A wool sock, okay. A wool sock, and uh, other thing that we can take into account is those kind of articles. Uh, be careful at the moment to use it because if you have only a, you only is gonna use a if the following word start with the consonant. But if the following words start with a vowel, a vowel song or a vowel letter, you're gonna use am, A-N. I don't know if somebody, yeah. in this case, we have, yeah. we have just a, because yeah. the word plastic start with, with the letter P, P, and also the, the, the sound, is it it sound like 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 a consonant, right? P. But the if the word start with a power, we're gonna use am, um, a, n. Mm -hmm. That's something that that that, that we the, that we can have. Uh, uh, we need to be careful about it, right? Let's go to the number five. A. Ah. A leather silver, a leather jacket. A leather, a leather jacket, right. A leather, a leather jacket. A leather jacket. A leather jacket. Yeah, leather jacket are most uh, used in cold places, right? Here where I live, uh, no, you cannot use leather jacket because you're going like, to feel like you were uh, like uh, dying in Sweden. <laughs> Because it's very hot, all right? Okay, guys. And uh, what about uh, the number six? Coron shirt. shirt. I got on shirt. Shirt. Okay. What about here? Here we can see very well the the, the image, but if we see the word, he uh, here is said earrings, right? Earrings, the one that the ladies wear. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Silver earrings, right? Silver earrings. And here, okay, thank you. Here we have the boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. 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 Okay, guys. Rubber boots. A rubber but okay. Guys, I don't know what do you have Isn't. over I, I don't know what do you have over your table if you have something uh, that is made of uh, not not only about this specific material but for some other and I don't know well the majority of you maybe have the no, cell phone no, some no, other no, has um uh, uh, napkins. Uh, we can, we can, uh, we can work in, in this way. If you see, here we have the the following uh, example, right? Which material can you find in your classroom? We are not we are not in exactly in the classroom, right? But uh, I think you have need of you certain things that are made or maybe of this material. The ladies maybe they have they have the 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 earrings that they're wearing. The guys maybe have the some of you have uh, the headphone. And in the case of Nelson, he has his own. No, just glass. You wearing glasses, right, Nelson? 
You wear glasses, Nelson, right? Nelson? Yes, ah, okay, okay, you wear glasses. Okay, let's see the example. Juan has a leather bag and Helen has leather shoes. I think, I think Maria has a silk bag, a silk, um, a silk coat, uh, a silk pants. Uh, I don't know what you have need of you guys. In order you you tell me what do you have uh, need of you. What do you have need of you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will give you a, a little example. Let's continue talking about Juan. Uh, Juan has a a, a cotton t-shirt. Let's say in that way, right? And Ruth, would you mind to help us to to say about something related to this? Like the example that, that I mentioned, Juan has a leather bag. You can mention whatever thing. You can use the same items that we have here, or you can use another items that are near of you and mention one, one name, or you can use the same that we are mentioning here in the example. You can mention also the, the name of one of your, your classmates. You can, you can do that, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. Ruth, hello, hello Ruth. Perdón, teacher, no le entendí. Vale, Ruth. Eh, estamos hablando de los diferentes uh, artículos y de qué son hechos cada uno de ellos. Estamos mencionando aquí en el ejemplo, decíamos, Juan has a leather bag. ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Utilizando esa misma estructura, usted me va a decir... Eh, un suponer, Daniela has a, 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 a silver earrings. Eh, puede, puede ser un ejemplo de ello, ¿verdad? O a, alguna otra cosa que vean. Eh, puede usar cualquier cosa a su alrededor o puede ser algo que alguno de sus compañeros esté, esté usando, ¿verdad? La mayoría de nosotros estamos usando audífonos. Entonces usted puede decir, este... Fulano de tal has a plastic health, you can say it that way. Just mention one name, mention the structure it has, uh, what they are made of, and the name of the article, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start. Tell me one. Okay. Um, Emily has hair rings, uh, aretes. Uh, Así earrings? Se hair earrings. Rings. Earrings. Okay. Earrings, yeah. Earrings. Ear earrings. But what uh, they are made of, of what? The uh, queso edge. You can say uh, Emily has silver uh, earrings. Okay. Uh -huh. Gold. Oh, okay. Gold earrings. Gold. Uh -huh. Emily has gold earrings. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Diana, would you like to help us with one more example? Uh -huh. uh, Nelson has a cotton shirt. Uh -huh. Nelson uh -huh. has a cotton shirt. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank and, you. And Flor has a, a no. She did it. <laughs> Uh, Flor has a has a a gold earring. Uh, earring. Uh -huh. Flor has no. a, a gold ring. Uh, a, a, gold, ri a, a gold ring. A gold ring. Okay, a gold ring. Flor has a gold ring. <laughs> a gold ring. Thank you, thank you. Uh, who else want to participate? Armando, would you like to help us? Um. I have a stair uh, made later. So, sorry, Armando, I couldn't hear you well. My stair is Ale later. 
Oh, your share. Share. Uh -huh. But uh, you can say, uh, you can mention a, uh, the name of someone. Juan has a leather share. A you, leather. Can, uh, you, you can say, Henry has a leather chair. Okay, uh, Repeat one more time. Henry has, Henry has a leather a leather chair. 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 Oh, okay, the chair. Because the chair is, is made of leather, right? In the outside. Yeah. But in the inside, it is made of other material, right? <laughs> exactly. And who else want to help me? Okay, let's see right here over there. El the teacher Ricardo and Armando and Jaime, the same, the, the color <laughs> shirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pink. Yeah, they, they, they 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 have they have been uh, you can say uh, the the name uh, but you you can say has because you are talking about uh, plural you can you you instead of has you use have uh -huh. Uh -huh. the uh -huh. the three name have a pink shirt but in this case sure. we are talking but in this case we are talking about what material they are made of what the thing that we are wearing in this case I think. Uh, is synthetic material the, the the chair that that I'm wearing it's not you know it's not made of cotton yeah I think it's one it's the it's, same color <laughs> uh, yes, yeah let's let's keep it yeah in this case with, with the same color right <laughs> let's keep it in the in that way the same color yeah okay who was watching right okay Miguel Angel would you like to help us with one example or that we were talking about we were using right now with the other classmate. Oh, Carla said, Maria has. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, just, uh, just give me for one minute. I'm going to read this. This, uh, Miguel Angel. Sorry. Mi Maria has a plastic bracelet, and Mauricio has a wool socks. Okay. Th thank you, Carla. Thank you. Okay. Continue. Continue, Miguel Angel. Um, Carlos has a nice chair. Has a, uh, has a nice share. Uh, um, well, in este ca in este caso, where, where, where are you, Mi Miguel? Right? In este caso, Miguel, estamos hablando de de de, de, lo, de los materiales que que de, que que son utilizados, ¿verdad? Uh, what ¿Cuál fue el nombre que usted mencionó? What was the name that you mentioned? Uh, uh, Carlos has a nice chair. Nice. Sí. Yes. Mm, nice is an, another adjective. Here, here we are just focus on the material uh, that are the they are made of. The the adjective of the items is another thing, but the material of where what they are made of is different, right? Because if you see in the example. A gold ring because it's made of gold. A rubber boat. You can say Juan. Uh, you can say I think Juan uh, has rubber boots. Okay. You can say in that way. Uh, you you can also say I think we suppose right. <laughs> we suppose we say uh, I think Carla has a uh, a leather. A leather jacket because maybe in her house it's cold. Yeah, a leather jacket, and we can say, I think Elsa Noelia has a has a silver ring. Oh, uh, we can say, I think Karina Beatriz has a a cotton shirt or a cotton blouse. You can you can say in that way too, right? Because we are making emphasis on, on the in the material in the all of these items are made of. Okay. Let's okay. move. Okay. Let's move to the next slide. Right. Okay. 
Sorry, I don't know what happened. Let me check right here. Okay, guys. Oh, next we have another. Oh, Ingrid said, Anna has a wool weather and Diana has gold earring. Yeah, that might be another good example of what we were talking about, right? A wool, wool sweater. And Diana has gold earrings, gold earrings. Okay, here we have a conversation. Which one do you prefer? I think the majority of you have this problem. Which one do you prefer? This one or this one? When you are going to the store, I think some of you have that problem, right? But in some cases, just only the, the I think we are the, 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 the men, we always go to, 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 to the thing that we're going to buy and the ladies, and they, the majority of the time have like a two or three options about what they're looking for, right? That's why the conversation said, which one do you prefer? Or in Spanish, might be? How we can call it in Spanish? ¿Cuál prefieres? ¿Cuál prefieres? ¿Cuál prefieres? ¿Cuál prefieres? O en buen salvadoreño, ¿cuál te gustaría más? Así es fácil. En buen salvadoreño sería así, ¿cuál te gustaría más? Porque es raro que no. Ajá. Ajá. O cuál querés, ¿verdad, Armando? ¿Cuál querés? <ríe> Así podría ser, ¿verdad? Metemos el buen salvadoreño siempre, ¿verdad? Porque es nuestra mother tongue, es nuestra lengua madre o nuestra lengua materna, ¿verdad? Ok. No, mejor elegí uno, pues. <ríe> oh, ok. Ay, in, in a good, oh, who's, oh, who's talking? Who's talking? Teacher, eh, yo, Karina Núñez. Eh, ok. Eh, Cuando decimos which es cuál, pero siempre tenemos que agregar one, la palabra one. Yo estaba mm. viendo en, en la plataforma la palabra one en algunas palabras y ahí tengo como un poquito de duda. Siempre va a ir así. Mm, no, no, no en todos los casos. No, 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 todo no, no en todos los casos. O sea, eh, which one, eh, en este caso estamos haciendo énfasis porque usted tiene dos artículos, pero son singulares. O sea, which one, cuál. Eh, eh, entonces, eh, tú en este caso te refieres a, a uno o el otro. Por eso en este caso este, eh, se utiliza esa estructura, which one, cuál. Es un cuál. Porque se va ah. a elegir uno nada más. Cuando porque, no ajá. vaya a tener que ser entre dos, que solo diría which. Eh, La mayoría de los casos, como en la estructura, en la, la estructura que trabajamos en el inglés, este siempre iría el wish porque y usted podría podríamos obviar eh, podríamos obviar el, el, el wamba, pero en el en el en el lenguaje eh, o sea formalmente hablando se utiliza más con, 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 el, con este tipo de, de, de pronombre eh, wish one porque si solo utiliza el wish El wish es solamente cuál. Entonces, ¿cuál? Sí, porque Entonces, cuando he escuchado cuál es tu horario, no había escuchado yo which one, cuál es tu horario. Por eso le preguntaba si en determinadas conversaciones se va a usar which one. No, en ese caso que usted me menciona, no eh, no diríamos, en el caso de los horarios, no diríamos which, which, which are your schedule. O sea, eh, ahí se, perdón, este... Está hablando de, en un plural, ¿verdad? En este caso decimos uno solo. En el caso de estamos hablando de los, hora, los horarios, sería what is your schedule? ¿Cuál es tu horario? O sea, para enfocarnos en uno. Miren cómo cambian las cosas. What is your schedule? ¿Cuál es tu horario? Y si lo hablamos en plural, sería which are your schedule? ¿Cuáles son tus horarios, porque no solo está eh, haciendo énfasis en uno, está haciendo dos o tres, o dos, más los que tenga, ¿verdad? Ahí es como cambia la, la, a estos famosos se les conoce como la double question, ¿verdad? Double question, which, what, where, to, todos ellos, ¿verdad? Entonces siempre tiene un complemento como one, ¿verdad? Como un pronombre, ¿verdad? Para sustituirlo eh, de algo de lo que ya estemos hablando, ¿verdad? Como se los decía la vez pasada, Eh, ya sobreentendemos al momento de usarlo de que ya estamos hablando de, de algo de que mencionamos previamente atrás 
no sé, más o menos así ya de, 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 de Karina. Eh, Ka Karina. Sí, sí, muchas gracias. Sí, sí, ah, thank you. Okay, okay, Karina. You're welcome. The, okay, let's move to the conversation. Which one do you prefer? We have a conversation between Anne and Sue. Look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one. Why? If you see, double question. Why? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's four, 499. Oh, it's, it's very expensive. Well, almost 500. Would you like to try to try it on? Try it on? What? What what can you understand when you, when we refer to try it on? Try it on. Ajá, uh -huh. try it on. Probártelo, ¿verdad? Probártelo. ¿Por qué? No solamente se va a dejar usted y va, y va a comprar algo porque lo ve. O sea, todos nosotros en nuestros cinco sentidos siempre nos probamos la, la, lo que vamos a comprar para nosotros, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso dije try it on. Try it on. ¿Qué quiere decir? Probárselo, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, este, try it on es nomás sola para, eh, solamente son para sus prendas. Porque si usted va, eh, va a hablar acerca de probar, pero eh, en el caso de la comida, uh, alguien te diría, would you like to taste it? O sea, taste it es muy diferente. O sea, probarlo, pero estamos hablando de sabor. De sabor o, o cómo te parece, algo así. Pero en el caso de, de, de los outfits, de all, all the things that are related with clothes, try it on, que es de probárselo en, en su cuerpo, ¿verdad? Ok, let's move. Oh, no, thanks. Ok, but thanks. Anyway, you're welcome. Here, here I want to, 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 let's see, we're going to select or choose. To participate, who wants to help me with this conversation? Who wants to help me? Who wants to help me? Aníbal? Aníbal, yes. would you like to? Okay, Aníbal, you're gonna be aim. And who else? Who else wants to help me? Okay. Who? who... Okay, Ingrid, Real, help me. Real... Okay. Okay, okay Ingrid. And... And what the okay, let's continue. Who Ingrid gonna be Sue? And what the other one? Okay. Aníbal. Aníbal, Aníbal, you're gonna yeah. be A. You're gonna be A. Okay, let's start at the count of three. One, two, three. Look, the jacket are really nice. Which mm -hmm. one do you prefer? Mm -hmm. I like the wool one better. The word one wish. No, why? 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 Uh -huh. why? 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 <laughs> the word one why? Uh, yeah. It looks warm. Warmer. 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 Warm. I like the letter uh, one better. It's more stylish uh, than than the word one. Than the word one. Okay. Mm, there's no price price tag. Price tag. Excuse me, how much is the this jacket? It's forty nine. Well, you like to try it one for four four hundred ninety nine, right? Four hundred ninety nine. Four hundred ninety nine. Ah, porque casi cuesta quinientos. <laughs> Uh, for uh, let let's continue this. Sorry for interrupting. Oh no, that's okay. But thanks, Owen. Anyway. 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 You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let's select. Let's choose two more participants. Two more. Two more. Who wants to be? <laughs> Mande. A Blanquita la veo emocionada. Quiere participar. What is, Blan yes, what, what is, what is Blanquita? Ah, Blanca Blanquita. Stephanie. 
Blanquita, where are you, Blanquita? I'm me, teacher. Uh, okay, Blanquita, would you like to help us in Marisol de Los Angeles? Go ahead, Blanquita. Blanquita is going to be A and Marisol is going to be Sue. Okay. Okay, at the count of three. One, two, three. Look, these jackets are really nice. Okay. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? prefer. Okay. Prefer. Uh, okay. Prefer. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue. So. I like the work one better. Okay. The wool one white. It looks warmer. Warmer, okay. Aim. Well, I like the laser one better. Okay. Uh -huh. one better. Uh -huh. you, you, you pronounce it like better. you... you La Blanquita, you pronounce it like you were British. Better. Better. <laughs> but it's okay. It's like <laughs> English. Okay. Better or better? No. <laughs> okay. Let's continue, Blanquita. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it is. It's. No, it, it's more. Certain light than the no. one. No, Blanquita, we were right here. No, es que me, me hacía falta. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Ok. okay. Hoy va Marisol. Ok, Marisol. Mm, there's no price tan. Ok. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Would you like to try it on? Try it on. Uh -huh. Mar Marisol, este, repita ahí de vuelta. To try it on. Eh, to try it on. Try it on. Uh -huh. Try it on. Ok, try it on. Ok, let's continue. Blanquita. Oh. Oh no, that's okay. But thank, thank, anyway. Thank, anyway. Anyway. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. Nobody, nobody has asking me about what the this the meaning of some word. Stylish. Nobody has asking me about what the meaning of this word is. Stylish. Stylish. Nobody has. Uh, what did you say, Wilfredo? Elegante, como es el gordo Max. <laughs> yeah, stylish is like a, a synonym of fancy, glamorous, uh, outstanding. Yeah, those, those are synonyms. But all of them are referring to the to the fashion, right? To the fashion area, the stylish. What about the, the price tag? What is the price tag? La etiqueta. Es la etiqueta. El, es, la, es la famosa etiqueta donde va el precio de las cosas que nosotros compramos, ¿verdad? Porque lo primero que vemos nosotros en, 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 en buen salvadoreño es cuánto vale, va. Y si está caro, solo nos... Lo hemos disimulado y lo volvemos a poner ahí. ¿Cuánto me lo dejas? No voy a regresar. Ya, están oferta. Ya voy a regresar. Ya. Dani, tenemos que aprendernos bien todo. Something very weird that happened with, with, the, with the American people is that the majority of them they buy in, in the thrift store. Do you know? Do I don't know if you have heard about the thrift store, the las tiendas de segunda. El shopping. Oh, Marshall. Ah, no, 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 no. Eh, Diana, Marshall and Rose, those are brand established uh, store. Uh, the thrift store are the 
the, the store that, that sell like a, okay. uh, <laughs> you, no, 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 no. They only sell used clothes, but in, in, in a good state, right? O sea, ropa, ropa usada, pero que está, que está, que está buena todavía. Uh -huh. La eh, megapaca, so, entonces. Uh, yeah, in all, in all cases, it might be the, the megapaca. But in the U.S., the, the treasure store, they, they have like a, like, like a help of the government because the majority of the people who work there are the uh, older people. The the people who are retired and want a part-time job, uh, the government helps to those store in order to pay the 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 the, the all employees that were there because uh, the the clothes that they sell is only donation, but they, they cannot sell uh, used clothes uh, to a higher price. You can find clothes uh, in, in in one dollar, two dollar, three dollar. I think the most expensive one is like a ten dollar. The most expensive one. Imagine the most expensive. But you can find even some pieces of flow of in fifty cent. Yeah, something like that. That 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 is the how the the, the thing works, right? Here we call it megapaca or whatever we want, but in the U.S. The, uh, are the famous thrift store. The, there also is a song that 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 that, that mentioned that song. Uh, I gonna have some guys gonna. I don't remember what the letter. But it refer. It make emphasis about something. Take me to the thrift store. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he mentioned something about that he found a a a, a fancy jacket in um, garage. Uh, sorry. Garage. I don't remember the the name web, but I I think I'm going to look for it and I'm going to tell you the tomorrow class. Yeah, it's because garage it's... Sally. <laughs> oh, garage sale, Sally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's that one, garage Sally. Yeah, it's a good one. So it made emphasis in the in the thrift store. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's continue, guys. Uh... Teacher. Hola. Hola. Uh, we want to listen to Daniela. Daniela. Yes. Daniela, where's Daniela? Daniela, 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 Daniela. Ah, Daniela. Who, who you you would like to participate in the in the dialogue, Daniela? Uh, yes, teacher. But we who you want to participate, Daniela? Uh -huh. Daniela, ¿con quién te con ¿Con quién te gustaría pa, pa, eh, participar en el diálogo? With who you want to participate? And me, teacher. With who? who, who? Karina. Karina. Ka, Karina. Karina. Sí. Okay. Le, who gonna be en and who gonna be su? Teacher, pero hay dos Karinas. ¿Cuál de las dos? Okay. González. Karina Yamilet González. Karina Yamilet. Karina Yamilet González. En... Ok. Who go, who gonna be in? Who wants to be? Uh -huh. eh... Girls, who want who gonna who gonna be in? Yo lo voy a decir, teacher. Bye, bye, bye. Ok. ¿En jugo en Abisú? Ok, teacher. Ok, let's start. One, two, three. Look, these jackets are really nice. Okay. Which one do you prefer? Ok. ¿Jugo en Abisú? Karina y Amilera, you, you said that you're going to be sure, right? I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? Mm -hmm. It's a lot warmer. Okay. I like the leather one better. It's mm -hmm. more stylish than the wool one. Mm-hmm. Mm, that is. No pride. Tag. 
There's no price tag, okay. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Okay. Would you like to try it on? Try it on. Try it on. Try it on. Okay, try it on. Oh, no. That's okay, but thanks. Anyway. Anyway. You're welcome. Okay, applauses, guys. Applauses, applauses for, for the for the two participants. Okay, let's move to the let me see right here. Let's move to our last slide. Okay. Let's see here. Grammar focus, preference, comparison with adjectives. Guys, do you have an idea about what an adjective is? What can you tell me about an adjective? An adjective describes the action, what we are talking about, that is the adjective. In this case, we are talking about adjective to talk about the prices. We use the adjective cheaper, nicer, uh, prettier, bigger, stylish. Those adjectives here uh, are used to describe a specific thing about what we are talking about because uh, Cheaper, we are describing something that it costs or that is in a very low, low, low price, right? If we say nicer, that is comfortable for you or maybe it is good for you, that's why we use the adjective nicer. Uh, uh, in the case, uh, here we have the, the example right here, right? Uh, which one do you prefer? The first question. I prefer the leather one, the leather one. I prefer the leather. The leather one me or make emphasis to the to a jacket that is made of, of leather, right? Which one do you like better or more? Better, better, or more? Better or more? I like the leather one better. I like the leather one more. You can use whatever of this one. You can use uh, better or you can use more. In this case, we have comparison. Uh, who, who was speaking? Is the same or they have a, a difference? Uh, no, in this case, are different because better in El Buen Salvadoreño sería mejor. Y more, eh, sería como más. Uh -huh. Better or more are two different adjectives. Here we have the comparison. And the comparison rules eh, said, if we are talking about a specific adjective, eh, if you are talking about a comparison structure, all the time that you see this word, dan, 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 T-H-A-N, it may emphasize that you are talking about comparison. You are comparing between two things. What the rule said, if you have an adjective, you're going to add ER at the end of the, of the word. If the word ends in a consonant, you're going to add ER. If the word ends in a vowel, you're just going to add are if the word ends in 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 y you're going to change the letter y for an e if you see right here y prettier you if you see here the the other the other adjective ends and it is one word right ends with the consonant but in this case if we have a word with just three letter, vowel, sorry, consonant, vowel and consonant. The, in the cases where you have uh, those words that are uh, consonant, vowel and consonant, you're going to double the last letter, the last letter that you have, e, and you're gonna add ER, if you see, big. And here we add the 
other G because you double the last letter that you have in the word. Just in the word that are like, like in this way, like 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 three letters, right? Teacher. Hola. Vamos a comprender y entonces grande, grandote. Uh, o más grande. Uh, big, más big, grande. más más grande. Bigger, más grandote. Mm, no, sería más grande. <risa> más más grandote. Más grande. Ajá, el más el grande. Ajá. El, el, más, el, el, el más grande, porque es que el, el más grandote ya es como, ya es como un, un es como uso de nosotros, ya, ya nosotros le hemos hecho parte de ello, pues, o sea, de nuestro lenguaje, como lo que les estaba diciendo ayer, pues, de que nosotros a veces hacemos uso de, de palabras que nada que ver, pues, o sea, pero las hemos adoptado propias de nuestro lenguaje, ¿Y como el la biggest, en este caso. Hola. Y el biggest en este caso. Oh, you may have to see about biggest the, the restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. De las hamburguesas. <laughs> no, no, Armando. Eh, <laughs> that is another structure. Ahí es otra estructura, Armando, porque estamos hablando de superlativos, o sea que es aún más. Más. Oh. Esos son superlativos. Aquí tenemos comparativos. O sea, estamos comparando una cosa con, con la otra. Ajá. Eh, si, si vemos aquí el ejemplo, ¿verdad? That one is cheaper than the wool one. Estamos haciendo comparación entre dos cosas. ¿Qué dice aquí? Que aquel es más barato que el, el de lana. We are making comparison. That's why it's called comparison with adjective. And the structure is this one. When you always see this word done and you have or you are talking about two things, you're always going to remember that you are talking about comparison with adjective. Why adjective? Because you are describing a certain or a specific thing that you were talking about or you or the one you are going to mention, right? That one is cheaper than the wool one. The another example, this one is nicer than, what else we can, we can, we can use right here? This one is nicer than. We can see the 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 than the than the silver than the silver earrings. You can say also that this one is nicer than the than the cotton one, cotton one, or. Or oh, this one is nicer than the gold ring. You can mention it in that way because remember, guys, we are we, we are talking com comparison. Comparison is we are talking about two things. You first teacher. Hola. Y se puede en persona también, cierto? Eh, sí, se puede, yeah. se puede, se puede en persona, pero con este adjetivos que describan your physical appearance. Like taller, es like... Es alto. Ajá. Alto, you... bajito. Lo puede decir en una persona. Eh, po podemos decir, Ricardo is taller than Armando. Because Ricardo is taller than Armando. Those are, <laughs> phys those are physical adjectives to describe, describe. Two, two people, right? But in this case, we are using adjectives both to describe... Uh, outfits or certain or whatever kind of items that you want to talk about. In this case, we were talking about clothes. Clothes. It's clothes, remember, we were talking about clothes. And what they are made of. De qué, de qué están hechas también, ¿verdad? De eso es lo que hemos estado hablando, ¿verdad? De las diferentes vestimentas y de los que, y de los que son hechas, ¿verdad? If you see, the leather jacket is prettier than the wool Wow. Or the wool jacket. The it look bigger, bigger, bigger than it's more stylish than we always make comparison, right? Between two things. Armando, the thing that you were mentioning about the, the word biggest, as I already mentioned to you, is a, a superlative. 
eso, 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 acuérdense, el superlativo siempre va a ser más que algo. Y el comparativo solamente es para comparar entre dos cosas, ya sea eh, persona o cualquier objeto que usted quiera referirse en este caso, ¿verdad? En nuestro caso nos estamos refiriendo solamente a... Eh, a ¿Hola? Vestimenta. A las vestimentas. Pero y si ya no fuéramos a hablar con, con physical appearance, podemos usar otro tipo de, de, de adjetivos, como se los mencioné, ¿verdad? Entonces, es ahí la diferencia. Yo creo que más adelante se van a ver los superlativos. Y, y ahí va a ver la, la lista y la diferencia que hay entre los adjetivos. Porque en el comparativo tenemos estas reglas, que si termina en, termina en consonante, eh, usted solo añade er. Mire, si termina en vocal, solo añade er. Si termina en y, cambia la y por ir. Si termina, si la palabra solo lleva tres letras, que es vowel, consonal vowel, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Eh, consonante, vocal consonante, you're going to double de consonante. Va a duplicar la última consonante que tenemos aquí y le va a añadir er. Hay uf, infinidad, es una, es una larga lista que, de, de palabras que tienen ese montón de cambios, como no se tienen una idea ustedes con respecto a, a, a no solamente estos adjetivos con, 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 con ropa, también physical, o sea, los adjetivos, valga la redundancia, el adjetivo nos va a servir para describir ciertas cosas, ¿verdad? Este, uy, wait, wait, guys, I don't know what happened with Ok. That's everything for today. Same for your attention, guys. Uh, let's gonna call the roll, right? Let's gonna call the roll. Vamos a pasar este asistencia porque no teníamos a la mayoría. Okay. What about Ana Graciela Ramos? Are you sí, here? Sí, here I am. Okay, thank you. What about Anderson Jeremy Molina? Anderson Jeremy, are you there? No, right? Okay, what about Armando Antonio? Yeah, he was there. Here, teacher. Okay, Blanca Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Blanca. Karina Beatriz. Karina Beatriz. I think I saw you, Karina. Creo que te vi, Karina, por aquí. Karina Beatriz. Sí, mm. estaba de hecho, pero se, hace poco se desconectó, hace poquito. Es, es, lo que, es, lo que estaba, es lo que estaba viendo. Carlos Aníbal. I'm here. Ok. <laughs> eh, Daniel Alejandra. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Diana Patricia. I hear teacher. <laughs> Why you are laughing at? Okay, uh, Elsa Noelia Portillo. Here I am. Okay, thank you. Uh, don't girl, uh, no se vayan a desconectar. Uh, oh, uh, just wait for one moment, please, guys. Uh, Flo, Floricia Mangíbal. Present. Okay. Henry Alexander. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, hola. No sé si me escuchó Karina Beatriz, pero le estaba diciendo I'm here. Karina Beatriz. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, Karina, no sé Karina. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Don't worry. You're here. <ríe> Don't worry, Karina. Eh, Ingrid Esmeralda. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Jaime Iván. Jaime. Jaime. Sí, teacher. Ok, thank you, Jaime. Jocelyn Alicia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Karina Yamilet. Present, yeah, you, teacher. You, you were there. Ok, Karina, Carla Gabriela, you also were there. I, I, I saw you. Present, teacher. Ok, María Imelda. I'm here, teacher. I saw you. María Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Marisol de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Eh, Miguel Ángel. I'm here teacher. 
Ok. Eh, Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Ok. Romel José Marín. Present teacher. Ok. Ronald Alexander. Present teacher. Ok. Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok. Ruth Noemí. I'm here. And Wilfredo, you were there, right? Present teacher. Ok. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Ok. Let's do... Oh, right here. 